Hey world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more additional practice, I will point you in the direction of how you can access tons of videos at the end of this episode today. The focus for this week is drumroll. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Let's try that again. The focus for this week is drum roll. Equation editor. All right, y'all, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem for this week. So go ahead and pause the video. Try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready to check your work, make sure you press play, come on back and see me, and we'll check your work, all right? See you soon. Welcome back, fifth grade. Let's try that again. Welcome back, fifth grade. Let's go over this problem. So this says that Ulrich works on a project that takes three hours of his time. At every half hour, he stands to take a quick stretch break. You know what? This is what I do too. I actually work in little chunks of half an hour bites and then I stand up to take a break, including the end of the three hours. How many stretch breaks does Ulrich take? There's a lot going on here and your brain might be thinking right away, am I adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing here? And when, it come, when your brain gets kind of confused like that, it's really important to draw it out. I always say when in doubt, draw it out. So we're going to draw out this problem right down here. We've got somebody named Ulrich, okay? And he works for three hours and takes a break at every half hour. Let's say that this is when he starts his work, which would be zero hours. Okay, this would be hour one. Then he works another hour for hour two. Then he works another hour for hour three, right? And it is okay to take time to draw this out. And we know that at every half hour, he stands up to take a little stretch break and then gets back to work. So at every half hour, that means he's gonna take a break at the halfway marks. So we need to go ahead and make half, all right? So now I just have to count how many breaks he has. So here he works for a half hour, takes a break. Works for a half an hour, takes a break. Works for a half an hour, then takes a break. Works for a half an hour and takes a break. Works for a half an hour, takes a break, and then works for a half hour and takes a break. So how many stretch breaks does he take? Well, we just have to count it up. He takes one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six hops on my number line that represent the six breaks. So we can go ahead and input that answer right here. Six, yes, how many breaks? Six breaks is what he takes. Now, what is going on here? Well, we're actually taking a whole number. We know we're taking our three hours and we're dividing it into half hours, okay? which equals six. But when we draw it out, it makes a lot more sense. So I really encourage you to not always be looking for the operation, but draw it out to see what's happening to get an answer that makes sense, okay? Go ahead and pause the video to jot down your work, and when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something 
something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to be intentional about your practice, and you've got to throw down your very best each and every time. And most importantly, believe in yourself. I certainly believe in you, and I'll see you next time, world changers. Bye.